So here's the question. Statements. Some sheets are rods. No sheet is a foil. All rods are marbles. So let us first draw the basic diagram for this. Some sheets are rods. So sheets here and rods. Some sheets are rods. No sheet is foil. No sheet is a foil. So let us say these are foils. So no sheet is a foil, right? You know that we put these cross marks just to you know understand or indicate that these two cannot touch each other right foils and sheets cannot touch each other and the last statement here says all rods are marbles all the rods are marbles so all the rods should come inside marbles so that's the basic diagram for the given statements now look at the conclusions the first one no foil is a marble no foil is a marble well if you look at the basic diagram no foil is a marble is correct right no foil is a marble is correct because foils and marbles do not touch each other but will it always be correct will it always follow no remember it's a very simple conclusion basically from the given statements we know that foils cannot touch sheets but foils can go and touch you know rods and foils can go and touch marbles as well right though it satisfies the basic diagram no foil is a marble although it satisfies the basic diagram we would say that it is a wrong conclusion because I can draw possible diagrams where foils will overlap with marbles or foils, with, foils will overlap with rods. The only thing that we have to keep in mind is foils cannot overlap with sheets, but they can overlap with rods and marbles. So that is the reason conclusion number one is wrong. No foil is a marble is wrong, though it satisfies the basic diagram. Remember, a conclusion is true if and only if it satisfies all the possible diagrams, including the basic diagram. Here it satisfies the basic diagram, but as we all have observed, it will fail in some of the basic diagrams. So first one is wrong. Second one, some sheets are marbles. Yes, you can see that some sheets are marbles. Now, this conclusion has satisfied the basic diagram. So can we directly say true? No. You know that a conclusion is true if and only if it satisfies all the diagrams. Now, it satisfies the basic diagram. We'll have to look for the other possible diagrams. But from your basic understanding of syllogisms and, you know, uh, given that we have solved a number of questions so far, based on a similar format, we can directly say that some sheets are marbles is always going to be correct. Why? See, we know that all rods are marbles. All rods are marbles. Now, this, this technique I have explained in some of the previous sessions as well. Wherever we have all A's are B's, we can simply replace A's with B's. Wherever we have A's, we can put B's. Like for example, it says all rods are marbles. So wherever you have rods, you can replace with marbles. Like for example here, we can say marbles. Nothing wrong in doing it. Remember, Rods can be replaced with marbles. Marbles cannot be replaced with rods. Because the point is all the rods are marbles. All the rods are inside marbles. So all the rods are marbles. Not all the marbles are rods. So wherever we have rods, you can replace with marbles. You getting it? All A's are B's. Means what? A is equal to B. B need not be equal to A. See, B can be equal to A, but B need not be equal to A, right? This need not be definitely true. But what is definitely true? B equals to A is definitely true. So I can replace rods with marbles. So logically, if you see, when I can do this, what happens? The statement becomes some sheets are marbles. And if some sheets are marbles, definitely some marbles are sheets. Or, or directly, that's what is given in the conclusion, some sheets are marbles. So you can say this is true. Are you able to follow? So even without looking at the diagram, if you go by this logic of replacing A's with B's, whenever we have all A's are B's, simply replace A's with B's in all the possible statements. You will get to know that uh, this conclusion, conclusion, second conclusion here is true. Some sheets are marbles is true. Look at the third one. Some rods are foils. Some rods are foils. No. In the basic diagram itself, it fails. Some rods are foils, it says. But if you look at the basic diagram, no rod is a foil. So this particular conclusion fails in the basic diagram itself. And you know that if a conclusion fails in the basic diagram, it is anyway false, right? It cannot be taken as true. And the last conclusion here says some rods are not foils. Now that's an important one. Some rods are not foils is an important conclusion here, right? It is in the form of some A's are not B's. Now how do you verify this? See, some rods are not foils again satisfies the basic diagram, right? You see that rods and foils do not overlap with each other so we can say that some rods are not foils right you can choose some of these rods always and say these are not foils but the question that arises is will it always follow is this conclusion following only the basic diagram or will it always follow logically again you can say that it will always follow how how do we say that see the point to be noted here is always we know that some sheets will be rods or some rods are sheets look at the shaded region you draw any diagram you want any possible diagram you want a minimum of some rods have to be sheets or some sheets have to be rods. And you know that foils cannot overlap with sheets. Foils cannot overlap with sheets. So those sheets which are rods cannot be foils. Or those rods which are sheets 
always there will be some rods which are sheets so these rods which are sheets cannot be foils so any diagram you draw there will definitely be some rods which are not foils and hence some rods are not foils is a correct conclusion are you able to follow some rods are not foils is a correct conclusion so the answer for this question would be only two and four follows or simply two and four follows one and three do not follow so i would say none of these options are correct because fourth option says either two and four follows this makes no sense in my view right answer should be two and four follows all right